And I don't know what YouTube video I should make on Anim Adventure. Is this shiny skin even good? Uh... Would the value be high? Bro, stop interrupting. You're forcing me to make a cringe intro. Is it even worth grinding the Halloween event? Hey guys, it's me again. And today we will be showcasing all the shiny and non-shiny Halloween units. I will also be giving them a rating from 1 to 10. 1 being terrible and 10 being, of course, the opposite. I'll be giving out a battle pass at 10k subscribers, so if you guys can help me out with that, it will be really really appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and hope you enjoy it! Alright, so let's start with Heidel first. I do have some of these on my ult, so... Yeah! Alright. At first glance, he's swinging like a very big sword, and he has like a... Mouth piece. I don't even know what that's called. A mask? Yeah. And the Naruto cape around him. Which, you know, I'm ice thinking it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. If I'm going to be honest, and of course everyone have different opinions, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Because honestly, the cosmetic, it's not really that bad. But if you compare it to other in-game cosmetic, it's one of the worst ones. <laughs> and now let's take a look at a shiny version of it. My friend actually managed to, you know, get a hold of the shiny Heido. Is it even is it Hido or Heido? But anyways, here's what the cosmetic looks like. So it does have like a red aura around it. And as you can see the cape, it's kinda like split in half. If you get what I'm saying. Still have the same color sword and mainly just the red aura that's like really really standing out. If I compare this one to the other shiny version of the cosmetic, I'll give it a 8 out of 10. I'm not comparing it to the normal ones, just the shiny versions. And next up we got Hinami. Let's see the cosmetic. So, it has like two long tentacles and two wings. I'm pretty sure it's made out of bones, cause in Tokyo Go, Go, yeah. If you watched it, you know. But yeah, this cosmetic isn't really that bad actually. Cause the area is pretty large and it's pretty noticeable. I would give this one. 7 out of 10 as well. And now for the shiny, let's see if it's better than Heido's cosmetic. Alright. And here we go. Oh, so the shiny cosmetic has red aura again, which is pretty cool. Ice. Yeah, they rushed these so badly, but. Yeah, the red aura actually adds like an extra touch to it. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10 as well. But honestly, I feel like I'm going to give all of these 8 out of 10. All they did was just adding an aura. Alright, so I just woke up and we're up to gas. Gas isn't actually really that bad. As you can see, all the particle effects of the clouds, or poison I should say, around him. And gas is literally written on his shirt, which is actually pretty insane. I really like the purple outfit, and I'll give this one a 8 out of 10. And now for the shiny version of gas. It actually looks pretty good. As you can see, it's like a crown, and the whole shirt is dark purple with a cape at the back. And yet, it's still particle effects. I have no idea what that says, but yeah, I feel like this cosmetic is really good. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. You know what, maybe a 9 out of 10, because this is the only cosmetic that like didn't just add an aura around it. Now let's take a look at Sid's outfit. So here it is, Sid 
nonchalantly already has an aura around it, a purple aura, and he's holding a long sword, which is pretty cool. I feel like this is one of the best normal outfits for um, the Halloween units, so I'll give this one a 9 out of 10. Okay, I know you guys are gonna hate me for what's gonna happen next, but I did manage to get a shiny Zed on one of my ults. However, I feel like this is one of the worst shiny cosmetic out of all the Halloween ones. The only difference for this cosmetic is that I added like a lightning around it, which isn't really noticeable because it's the same color as well. They could have gotten so creative with this and like make the sword purple and remove the hat or something. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 comparing to the other shiny version, so yep. Alright, and it's now time for the final cosmetic, Alucard. And my friend over here actually managed to get an Alucard. So let's see what it looks like. So basically, it's a red cosmetic with red aura, and it has like a hat with very detailed, like, caped. Wait, nah, uh, check it. <laughs> well, this is actually one of the best cosmetic out of the normal version. So I'm going to have to give this one a 10 out of 10. Yeah, just out of the Halloween unit stuff. And last but not least, we got a shiny Alucard on my account. And let's take a look at a, you know, cosmetic. Since this is like a shiny unit, I'm expecting it to be good. And this indeed is pretty insane. I just wish that the eyes are looking at you at the back as well. But look at all the eyes. It doesn't have like a hat or anything so my big head isn't blocking anything don't worry just some um, well it might be who knows well the red aura and the eyeball just keeps blinking at you this has to be one of the best cosmetic so i have to give this a 10 out of 10. in other words i'm just simping for this cosmetic not gonna lie but <laughs> yep that's all and now Let's put on some music and I'll put all the cosmetic side to side so you guys can compare them. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really really appreciate it if you stayed all the way till the end. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys soon. Maybe tomorrow, cause you know, the update. But see you guys in the next video. See ya!